The moons that dot our solar system complicate one's memory. To name them all will lead to a substantial use of energy. So here to you I provide a list as concise and eloquent as to lead to a song that soon shall be described as excellent. The moons of all the inner planets number very, very few. Phobos and Deimos, moons of Mars, their number totals only two. While our home's moon is Luna and it looks tiny in nighttime skies, in actuality it's about one quarter of the year size. For Jupiter and Saturn, this will surely take up all my time It's bad enough that many of the names do not have proper rhymes In fact, it might be possible that as I sing this drawn out song Discoveries of brand new moons are quite certain to come along Around Jupiter, there's Adestrea, Aetni, and Caliroe Elara, Harpa, like and even larger moons like Ganymede There's Mistotheon, Thebe, and Thuxinoe, and Pastifae Then back to some more recent ones like Corae and Calicare. Some Galilean moons like Io, Callisto, and Europa were found three centuries before 1904 Simalia. While Tejas, Pasit, Thay, Orthos, and Yemen, AOD were some of the name moons that we found in the latest century. Isonome, Caliclo, Castle, Scythia, and Magicite, and Metis, Lita, Sinocarpo, Aeronome, Praxidite. There's Eurodome, Eucalade, you and Thalike, Hermipe, and Hegemon, Chaldean, Selene, Carmi, Arche, and Europe. Autonomy and Ankiana, Maltea, Phoenicia, the rest of Jupiter's moons have not been given good proper names. So for the last 14, I'll sing examples of the names I see. The format repeats up to S2003 J23. Saturn's moon of Titan is larger than planet Mercury. At 5,000 kilometers, it has substantial gravity. By dropping down a Procol regions looking for a mighty splat, we found proof of a water cycle consisting of liquid gas. Beyond the rings, Atlas, Besla, and Calypso teach ABCs, while Daphnis, Dion, and Gripe finish off all of the D's and G's. The Apatis and Hijirak were found 300 years apart, while Enceladus has cracks that to me look like a work of art. Until Farai and Epimetheus, they have the longest names, while Emer, Panlo, Gikari, and Hati, they are much more famous. With Sutinger and Surtur, Scanthi, Phoebe, and Polyak, there's Polyduces, Nari, Jarns, Exa, Helene, and Siarnak. Tithis and Rhea are the last two discovered by Cassini Of course it was much harder back in the 17th century In the 1980s there's Telesto and Prometheus Not to be confused with the other movie moon of Pandora Mimas has a big crater that makes it look like a Death Star While Fornjad, Fenrir, and Farbaudi are three moons that orbit far Bebion and Virgil, Mir and Kiviak are funny names Lyanus and Hyperion sound cool and have a bit more fame there's Ager, LB, Yorix, Anthe, Ariapo, and Methone, Hirok, and Palin, Tarfus, Tarkak, Thrymir, and Wien with Skull. The final eight are similar, official names are weird, you see, and yet I still must mention one S2004, S13. On to the moons of Uranus, the biggest four are close in size, like Ariel and Umbriel, 1,000 kilometers wide. Titania is the largest, and Oberon is close behind. During an 18th century find, they were the ones from Herschel's time. All 27 of the moons are named for Shakespeare's characters like Rosalind and Juliet, Bianca and Ophelia. Belinda, Puck, Cordelia, and Cressida and Portia were all discovered by the legendary second voyager. This Ferdinand and Cupid who will pierce her heart with his arrow. Miranda, Mab, or Margaret could fall in love with Francisco. They're set to boast Stefano, Prospero, and even Sycorax. While Perdita and Desdemona are closer than Caliban. The last moon of Uranus is Trinculo and it's very far But further still is Neptune and its smallest moon Lamedia Samantha and Meso and Sao and Halamid are distant moons Mostly they were discovered at the end of 2002 Neptune has lesser known moons like Niad, Neride and Proteus And Larissa and Thalassa, Galatia and Despina Such fast flight through the moons of Neptune Lead us to the largest one found in 1846 It's the well-known moon that's named Triton at this point I've been singing for what feels like an eternity But we're not done, I know I want to wipe this from my memory The problem is that dwarf planets have moons captured with gravity But there aren't very many, so I'll try to keep my brevity Luckily Maki, Maki, and Ceres do not contribute How Maya has Namaka and Hayaka too to follow suit Eris has Dysnomia and Pluto as of recently With Styx and Kerberos in 2012 added to Prior 3 the strangest moon is Charon being nearly half of Pluto's size And Nix and Hydra much smaller discovered in 2005 And now I think we've done it covering planets and dwarves alike Unless of course a new discovered moon appears overnight Although I'm sure I got most all pronunciations very wrong You can't blame me for trying to write such a complicated song But here we are at long last in this truly scientific tune And this concludes the song of Souls 176 Moons